So now we are installing the chip back into the slim. So you've got your main board here, you've got the Molex and SATA connectors, and of course the uh, micro USB cable and a screen. So what we're doing is we grab the motherboard, uh, the main board first, and we are going to connect uh, the Molex cable first, and we're connecting it to the bottom one here, not the top. Uh, now as you can hopefully see in the video, um, this little notch here is not in the middle, so it does matter which way you put it. It doesn't matter which end you stick in, uh, but it does matter uh, which orientation the Molex cable is. So um, there's a little notch on here. That's the wrong way because the notch is not going to line up. Don't try and force it in. It should, it should be a snug fit, but um, it shouldn't be too hard to clip in. So I clip that in and then grab uh, this little connector here. Now on the slim console, use the one that kind of bends like that and uh, just install it like that. So now we're going to uh, hook it up to the motherboard. Now there isn't much on the fat console, these wires are really long and there's lots of, you can install it here and then push it in. On the, uh, on the slim console you have to do everything kind of right where they are because the cables are very, very short. So to make it, things a little bit easier, connect the Molex cable first, uh, not the, this one's a little bit longer, so connect the short cable first. So just make sure it's the right way around. And hopefully you can see this in the video. Just maybe push it with your nails on both sides at the same time, and that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, and then you are making sure this is the right way. And plug that in like that. As I said, it's very, this is probably the hardest part of the whole installation. Uh, on fat or slim is, is installing this little bit here that's it's, it's very tight. Once that's in, uh, you have to put the DVD drive back in. Now the DVD drive uh, on the slim console doesn't have legs like the fat one does, so uh, it kind of slides in. Uh, so you want to just kind of leave it almost all the way in. Um, let's move this to the side. So. Um, do the long one first this time. Pass the uh, pass the side cable through, and plug it directly into the SATA, and then just put around the Molex cable, and it's this way. That's it. Now, just gently slide your uh, DVD drive back into place. And once it kind of sits flush like that, uh, just push the X key down. Uh, it, as I said, it's a really tight fit. You can kind of um, just move it a little bit so it sits underneath there. And, uh, and now it's time to test out your, uh, your Slim Xbox. So uh, plug in. Slave board. Plug it in like that. And now plug in the power and turn on your Xbox. Just uh, if this is still connected, just touch this here. And uh, the X key should boot up. It stays on the logo for a uh, for a little while. I guess I'll just zoom in a little bit. And pairing up into emulation mode. Um, so, test the buttons are working, just kind of up a bit, you know, press, long press to go back. Uh, I want you to, same as the, the FAT console, I want you to test two things. One is uh, plug in a hard drive into the X key and load up a game. Make sure the games are in a folder called games, G A M E S. Um, load up a game. If it says uh, open tray, just press A on your controller and open the tray. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but yeah, just, just plug an AV cable um, or a HDMI cable in there. Um, after you've tested that a game works, turn it off, and then you just want to check to make sure everything's connected properly to the DVD drive. So, 
Second thing I want you to test is uh, turning the console on by pressing the eject button. And uh, the way you do that is just move this out of the way and then press the eject button on here. Uh, it's not going to work for me because I've never turned this console on and gone through the initial setup. But if you press that, make sure this is out of the way. The drive will eject and uh, it'll go into pass through mode. Um, chuck a disk in, make sure it works. If it works, unplug the console and it's ready to close up your sleeve.